Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready! Bloody freezing. Oh, a bit close in the fall. Oh, there's a space down here for parked in close up. <laughs> We've struggled for parking today. We've changed it all around. I think everyone's cottoned on to it, to be honest, as well, because it's like, what is it, quarter past nine? And all of these bays, they're all in yeah. the full bath, a few. Maybe yeah, we got here earlier last time. Uh, I don't know. But we're here anyway, in a somewhat chilly Leeds for the retro fair. This is a smaller one, it's not the super retro fair. Looking for some goodies, some rarities, as Lewis says. Here we go, just had a feed. Big breakfast. Who remembers a big breakfast on Channel 4? So bright and breezy. There she is, there she blows. Oh. <coughs> Who's it, Stefan or something? It's Steph. It's bargain time. Yeah, Steph. See, this is not even set up, look. I can get my hands on the boxes. Hey? I can get my hands on the boxes and run off. <laughs> Free labour. Is this the way into it then? It is the way in. Well, correct. Hello! Hey YouTube! Welcome back! to to UK! This is an overview, the review that gets the grabs of the Leeds Retro Games Fair in the Marriott, 27th of Feb. It was a little bit busy. What a big ass queue. Busy. You may hear stories about the queue and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that just at the minute, um, but it was a great day. I, I really had a great time. I think it's probably because it's been. I don't know when the last time I went to the to the one at the Marriott. Last time I went to went to the last Super Games Fair, which is at the university, and that was a great time as well with Lewis. Um, but I can't remember the last time I went to the Marriott. I've, I've only been down full of times, uh, but yeah, it was, it, I thought it was a great event. So first off the bat, I need to say massive thanks to Amanda and, and Lewis at Wish Wash 84, 88, I don't know, he's got bloody How's going guys? Thing. So, sort of a special video for me, very nostalgic you could say. So I've got three games here, they're all uh, imports, or should I say, sort of. Yeah, so many thanks to them guys for the, uh, for the lift, really do appreciate that. And obviously many thanks to Steve, Steve Smith and all his team that put on the, actually put the event on itself really great job of it um yeah there was a, it was a <laughs> it was a busy event to say the least um but i say i probably i may talk about it later on a little bit touch upon it because obviously it was you know um the, the situation was out of steve's hands he couldn't do anything about the amount of people who decided to turn up clearly because it's not like you know not selling tickets it's just rock up at the door and pay so he's you know he's governed by the um the fire eggs, a bit like arcade club a few years back when we all decided to descend upon arcade club after um, the play expo in Manchester. You know, Andy Brown, uh, Andy, Andy, um, Andy Palmer couldn't do anything about that either. So it's a similar sort of event, yeah, and it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Um, but say so we got there early doors anyway, managed to get in there, got some bargains. Even I missed out on some bargains. Yes, it's that's even possible. You can't be everywhere at once. Um, and there was one game, a chap. On Galaxy Sega, managed to bag it before me, and it's one that I did need. Um, but he's picked up. He picked up two games from these sellers, and I'll come to them in a minute. Who I think probably he, he, the guy must have gone home with like a fucking shoebox of stuff left because he was just his prices were top notch. Stuff was flying off the shelves, that off his table. 
Um, but yeah, full of, full of tubers, full of great people, full of a lot of people from the, from the Facebook groups as well. So like I say, really good time. Um, I didn't get a great deal of footage in there. So what I obviously got in there early doors, had a look around, bought some stuff, and then <laughs> I'll go back in. Um, I met up with the, the lads uh, at the bar, funny enough. So I'll go back in and I'll just do a bit of video in. And I, I said to Steve, I said, I got literally halfway around at it. All I'm recording is just back of people's heads. And no one wants to see that. Um, so there just wasn't enough time to get round it to do some you know, buy-in and also to film at the same time, uh, which is a shame. But there'll be loads of footage there anyway. And I'm more better at fucking waffling on rather than doing, you know, fancy editing and, and all that kind of shit. That ain't my bag. Um, you know, I'm capable enough, but it's, you know, I'll, there'll be loads of better footage of it anyway, I'm sure. But yeah, loads of tubers. I'm not going to list everybody because I'm bound to miss somebody off. But I will like come to a few notable people I do want to mention because I think they're worth a mention. Um, kind of off the back of the whole, you know, the YouTube um, monetization partnership thing. Um, I think the way they've gone about doing that to some of these sort of you know the smaller channels, and no disrespect to the you know quote unquote using the, the name smaller channels. I think it's wrong. I think they should have just basically said, look, from the X point on, i.e. like 27th of Feb, anybody starts, falls into this, you know, falls into these um, regulations and not strip people of, of, of that, but you know, it's YouTube, it's Google, they're just completely fucking up every time, aren't they? So yeah, there'd be, I'll say there'd be a few people I want to mention, you know, I, I say I'm not going to list everybody's name, I've got some pictures uh, of some people at the bar, etc. So you can see all that anyway. I'll probably have a, you've probably seen a bit of it already, a bit of the footage. Uh, I'll probably stick some at the end or whatever. There's not a great deal of it, guys. So you know, it is what it is. But let's. Uh, <coughs> and my throat is absolutely shot to pieces. So if it starts cracking or breaking, I'm sorry. Um, I thought it was just because I was talking too much because uh, it started to go on the way back last night. Uh, but woke up this morning and horrendous like chesty cough it's just yeah let's kill it with alcohol so in terms of the venue itself from the event pretty much i think he had one or one extra room two extra rooms i can't remember now and what we had some some um machines to play and he had another room that had another couple of stalls in it so it's like you know the main room the sort of foyer hallway and these two extra rooms so yeah there's, there's loads to go out there if you wanted to so it's not as big as um, the one at Leeds University and it's not as big as Doncaster uh, I think that's why it's not called a super retro game so just a retro games fair but clearly he's, um, he's outgrowing he's, he's outgrowing that venue as well he knows that you know and that's that's a good thing though it's a good thing so anyway what do we get what do we get what do we buy so first off the bat do you remember the last time I was at the one at the university and I picked up Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden Trilogy? Um, so this is the same couple. They're there every single time. Uh, God knows where the guy's getting this stuff from. It, it must be his collection. I think his missus is just making him sell it all. <laughs> Bless him. Or he's obviously sourced it from somewhere because they're saying his prices were just off the scale. Um, I missed out on a Mega CD game. Only one. That I know of anyway that I would have picked up, um, but I say but it, them's, that's just how it is. Them's a breaks. You can't be, you know, you just, it's just how it is. But I managed to bag all of these here. So I've got five titles, five games, ten of each. I said, would you do forty-five? I said yes straight away. So that's like the second store I got to. So I was, I was like, well happy. So mega CD wise, and I tell you what. Even though this is quite an early release, I think, on the Mega CD, it's still a relatively pricey title to pick up, even on, on eBay. I've been looking at it because I thought, oh, these ones would be dirt cheap to get. And they're bloody not. So I managed to get this for, I don't know what you want to call it, nine quid, something like that. But it's, it's got a tenner on it. Ground Zero Texas. Now, weirdly enough, I said to the guy, I said, oh, this is a two disc, isn't it? And he went, oh, is it? But, well, it's your game, and it? <laughs> you should know. But it is a two disker. So this kind of, it's like a weird, I don't know if you can see that, I'll show you. It's obviously got the manual because you can see the front of it. That's your traditional sort of case and then this one comes with this little thing that slots into these grooves. So it just sort of sits on top. 
but yeah, you know, for fucking price, nine quid. No cracks in the case at all. So I was on a bit of a roll. You know, I thought, yes, it's got to be a good day. Because um, I was at that stall and Gavin. <coughs> oh dear me. Um, everyone probably knows Gavin from like GGG and some of the events. He was down a far for fuck's sake, he's hoovered it all up. But he just didn't even look at these games. And I just went along with it. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and uh, as I was doing that, <laughs> um, a certain fellow tuber, who shall remain nameless in terms of his real name, it's old school variety face. Uh, he turned up, he'd been in there before me. He went, I thought you might pick them up too, T. Um, so, sort of pick of the, the, was it the pick of the day? I don't know, but I'll pick of what I've got from that, that table anyway. He's a handful of PC Engine titles, um, all a tenner each, so like I say, knocked a fiver off, so nine pound each. Chase HQ, and it's, you know, these are like 20, 25 quid games. Mr. Heli, and that's buying from Japan, so you always run the risk of uh, you know import charges. Operation Wolf. Now I couldn't remember if I had that or not, but I thought you know for a ten, I'm fucking leave that. I've got this one, but again for a ten, I'm not leaving it there. Uh, that's Adventure Island. Now I'm sure this. <coughs> oh, it's missing. The, I've got to plug it there anyway. It's missing the little slip thing. Um, this one is Wonder Boy. I'm sure it's Wonder Boy. I can't remember which one it is. It's going to do my nut in now. Um, so potentially there's four games I haven't got. Three, because I can't remember about Operation Wolf. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll say, but yeah, and full of PC Engine titles. Fucking hell. There was another store. A couple of name ladies' names now. Retro Game in Japan. She had some uh, some PC Engine titles, but they're like you know the sta um, Peach Boy uh, stuff like that. So some of them you can play, some of them you can't, uh, and the usual like RPGs that you fucking got no chance to understand. And she weren't as cheap as that either. There's another guy who was setting up and he had a, um, like, see, like, um, Ground Zero Texas there. Like the long box. Microcosm. With two great big dirty cracks in it. So how much is this, mate? He goes, oh, I don't know. And I think just fucking going online checking it. And I was like, it must have, it felt like 20 minutes. It must have been at least five minutes. And I was getting bored. It went 13 quid. I thought, okay. That's not too far from a tenner. So would you do a tenner, given the cracks? No. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> no, I'm not bothered. You know, just like, no haggle room, nothing. It's just... No, mate. Keep it. Um, but yeah, I'd say some nice little additions there that I didn't have. Um, there's your usual big sellers, your plushy gamer, uh, your saw thumbs, and stuff like that. I, I said to um, Alex, Nintendo Arcade, I, I tend to brush past them because... The thing is, you're not really going to get that much of a deal, I don't think. In all the years I've been, you, you tend not to, you know, like, top-end eBay. Uh, if you go in there, say, if you want a particular game and I've got it, maybe I can understand that. But if you're looking for a bargain or you're, you know, you're on spec, I don't think you're going to get a bargain from all, to be honest. You know, anything you can do is different. You can touch, taste and feel it. Um, but generally, it's people like that, that are sort of private sellers, where they'll, they'll, you know, they're willing to sort of do a deal, and the prices are, you know, really reasonable. Uh, that's what I find anyway, and I've always done well off the back of that. There's a, another example, with another chap here, right? Um, so that's all I picked up for for a while. I was sort of mooching about, bumped into um, a few a few people I knew off the Facebook groups, uh, Michael Orman and stuff like that, who, who forgot something. They should have brought along, but never mind, Mike. You don't have to post it. Um, yeah, and the you know, tuna fat, blah blah blah, this, that, and the other. And I came to a table which I looked at the guy and I looked at the name. I thought, oh, I recognize you from Galaxy Sega. So he's, I think his name's Nathan Russell. Is it Retron, Retron Mania or something? It's meant to be Retro Mania, but I think it's dropped the O off. It's Retro or dropped the A off Mania, I can't remember now. Retron M, M Nania or something. He did all the acrylic signs. Um, and I think it's him and his mate that had this stall in the corner. And I've seen this one, this this um, Mega CD game was at another stall on the other side. Uh, I can't remember the chap's names now. Again, he does a lot. Chris Richardson. Um, I think he had 40 or 50 quid on it. It might be 40 quid, I think. 
the boxes, boxes are a little bit better condition, admittedly. This one's complete. Um, I've seen this before on eBay. So the guy had, I'll show you, they had. Yeah, it's Retron, Retro Mania. There you go, look. So he, he, so he had 35 of it. So it does a lot of the acrylic size, you, you, you all have seen them. Um, he had 35 on it. I was chatting to to Michael that was at the store, because obviously he knows him from, from the Facebook groups. And I said, oh, would you do 30? Uh, and he passed it to his mate. He went and tapped away on his, on, his, on his laptop. He went, that's the best, that's literally the, the best that we can do. I said, well, look, 30 quid in your hand, boom, you ain't going to take it home. He said, fine, I'll take it. So 30 quid. Um, obviously, you can see on, the, on there, it did say, I don't know if I showed you that, it did say complete as well. There you go, complete. So look at the size of the bag. So it's, yeah, it's a, it's not a little box. So I've got me a lethal enthorsers. So I've got the second one. It's got, you know, it's got some shelf wear to it. It's not battered. It's just shelf wear. So there's no actual like gouges or rips or tears. It's just because it's all black. It's just obviously well worn. So the other one that was, that was there, you know, the, the, it was very, a um, lot less shelf wear on it. It, clearly it was and that's probably why I was asking for a premium uh, but the inside of this absolutely superb so a lot of these you see on eBay don't even come with this top bit of card the pole is in great condition there's no chips cracks rips tears or anything in it uh, and this is what you end up with so the gun is still in the baggie um, that is how that comes it just comes in a jewel case there is no other version You've got the justify there and you've got the manual so yeah really happy to pick that up you know the ones like this when you see them on ebay the photographs can be a bit misleading um so it's not until you can get up you know you could probably they do a decent photograph of that a lot of people probably fall for it if that makes sense um but when you see it in the flesh i thought well, that's that's not bad price at all so usually about 40 odd quid i've seen them and in a lot worse condition than that so it turned into a bit of a, you know, um, on the uh, mega CD hunt. But other than the microcosm, I think that they had prize fighter as well, but no manual. That's twenty quid. Again, not bad, but where I can, I'm trying not to pick them up without lesser manual. Um, but sometimes, like with Terminator, with Dad. It's too good a deal, it's too good a price to say no to, so you just have to accept it, you know, accept that that's how it is and just fucking snap their hand off. Um, but yeah, other than them to a couple of games, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there was um, the couple that had all all of the PC Engine stuff, uh, you know, that would have really good prices on there. They had a um, Neo Geo CDZ, so CDZ, which is a twin speed one. Um, 280 on that, it was boxed, but the box was pretty much battered um, but you just get like retro dr retro drunk on stuff because you start thinking oh I love that and you need to really bring <laughs> yourself in because it's so easy to go fucking mental really yeah that's been you know really uh, really sort of aware of what I was thinking of buying if that makes sense uh, <laughs> so I think I bought them I bought that then I bought this and I had that out of money so I thought, I've got to go back to the machine because I've not even been to the bar or anything at this point. Um, so I thought, I've, I've had 10 quid left. So I said to Lewis, I've got to go and get some money. Um, so this was the, um, the the last last but one item I bought. So I didn't buy a great deal, but I spent some, <laughs> some fucking cash. Um, so a little bit of a funny story. I suppose not about this, but it's to do with this. It's very much linked. Um, Retro heads were there, Chris and Gav, and I was a little bit of a little bit of a knob. You know, let's let's be honest, Gav was a bit of a knob, wasn't I? He was trying to buy um, the other variant of this, which I've got from his chap. And to be fair, the chap's one that he had and the price he had was was, was really good. And I was a bit, a bit of a knob because I've obviously got the other one of this, so I know what it should have in it, and he's had everything in it. Um, so I'll say to the guy, I'll say to Gav, oh yeah, it's got this, it's got that. And Gav's like, Stuart, Tutti, fuck off. I'll see you, see you in a bit. He was trying to haggle. I think he got the price he wanted at the end. So, you know, no no harm, no foul. But yeah, sorry Gav, I was just, uh, I don't know. 
I was trying to help, I was trying to be helpful. But because Gav was looking at that, I'd seen this, I brushed past it, but the guy wasn't at his stall. He wasn't at his stall until like it nearly opened. Which when I went back and I bought I had to stand around waiting for it to turn up. Um, and I looked at the price initially, I thought, oh, is it like the Japanese version? Because he had a lot of Japanese stuff. Again, it looked kind of like an independent seller, as far as I could see. Uh, knew his stuff. Uh, and it was, it was kind of like a box behind stuff as well, so it had all, all games around it. So I didn't really want to start pulling his stall apart when he weren't there. <clears throat> so when he turned up, I so said, I can have a look at that. Started looking at it. It's... It's a, it's um, compared to the PS2 one, the build of this isn't as good, and even he said that because obviously he must have had it or whatever. I don't know, but I said yeah, I know because I've got the PS2 one, and it's a lot more sturdy. If you had the design of this or the build um, quality of the PS2 one in this style, it'd be a fucking awesome uh, item. Unfortunately, this is like hard cardboard, whereas the PS2 one's all like rigid plastic. <clears throat> I tried to haggle, he was not having any of it, you know, it, it, it's missing a card I think, I'm sure it's missing a card from what I could tell, um, so it's got a bit, for, given that it's sort of reinforced cardboard, it's not in bad condition, um, wouldn't come down from 50, 50 bones at all, 45, blah, nothing, so it, it was sal, I know it will, and he was right, because I don't even, I mean the telephone, the mobile signal wasn't great, <clears throat> I had to go into like, I think it was the arcade room near the window to get a signal and I checked eBay and he's it's, it's like half price probably given it's missing that bit yeah because other than that it's, it's like some of the silly are selling for three times the price but that's eBay you know auctions bike nows fucking prices are up and down but from here I can see it I have never seen one at, um, out in the wild before at all I keep checking on CEX see if one turns up um, I think theirs is 30 I think it's 35 so for 15 extra quid I can see it and I can see the condition whereas we see he actually taking a bit of a gamble uh, still a little sticker on it I'll show you so after all that it is um, I'd say it's quite it's <laughs> it's completely unusable as a controller <laughs> I'll tell you that much now because I've tried the PS2 one and it's just f fucking weird as hell but it is the Resident Evil 4 limited edition exclusive whatever you call it um, chainsaw controller so as you can see it's like a cardboard whereas the the, um, the PS2 one is like in, the, in, a, in a, like a crimson red and it's like plastic but yeah you can see I had 50 quid on it and he wouldn't budge I, I did think I'll, show, I'll, I'll take it out in a minute because um, see I did think it was missing some out so I couldn't see on the pictures it looks like some of yeah, some of the plastic slipping inside it because it's just the glue. I think the glue just gives way on it a little bit. Um, there's a few little dinks, nothing, you know, it's not ripped or anything like that. And all it is, it's just a lid. Um, the PS2 one's a bugger to get into. I, had to, I think I had to Google that or watch a YouTube video and I have to get into it. So all it is, it just opens up and there's your controller. That's all it is. I think the um, the PS2 one's got like a pull cord on it as well. But yeah, you can just sort of see. Know your tech. And it has, it's got an adapter. So there's what you can. Look, there you go. There's where it plugs into there. And on the base. So I thought there was a memory card went in there. I think that is for a memory card. It doesn't come with a memory card. I couldn't see one online anyway. Uh, and then in the base here is the little adapter that plugs in. So it's meant to come with like um, a little slip card. I don't know, maybe it may just probably got the instructions and how to plug it all in. Um, so that's all it's missing. But it's, yeah, it's just a weird, it's a very flimsy car, sort of cardboard it's all glued together so you get a little bit of a the glue's coming away just on the on the edges but it's given its age you know things drying out you kind of expect that a little bit um yeah there's a little gap there look see the little gap well that plastic's dropped i don't really want to pull it up in case i rip it too much um but yeah you don't see many i've not seen one out of the bat in the flesh if you, if you like 
uh, but quite funky. I think he was happy, well he obviously was happy because he fucking sold it. Um, yeah, I'll take that sticker off now. But one for the collection. I mean, Gav. Just left that sticker on there. Um, Gav got the PS2 and he got a good price on that. Really good price. Really good price. I'm sure he said he'd seen it there. We've well, seen that Doncaster and it was the same price as this. So there you go. Um, another funny little story off the back of that. Ben Mongoose on the unicycle. He turned up late with his mate. And I can't remember his mate's name. He's got a big beard. Uh, lovely guy. Uh, really good laugh. And we were chatting about these things, and <laughs> he went, "What you what? You what? You what?" And Gav went, "Yeah, I bought this thing." He was like, "You bastard!" Because I was after one of them, blah blah. Um, and I said about that one there, and he was like, "What? You 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 buying it?" I said, "No, I've got it already." And he was like, "For fuck's sake!" Because obviously Ben had made him late. I think he was doing something with his kids or whatever. So yeah, he was not happy. He was not impressed with, with Ben at all. But uh, yes, yeah, you don't. They're not not very common. One more thing, and that's it. So once I'd been, once I'd been round, this thing I went back for. So at that point, then I was done. I'd spent all my money, and um, I'd gone to the machine, got a bit, bit of out just in case I wanted something to eat or yeah, buy a few beers. Like, I think at that point, uh, a few of the lads had turned up and they were in the, the hotel bar, which weren't cheap, but you know, not could go out all the time, is it? Um, so I thought I'd go get some, get some pennies at least anyway. <coughs> some outs happened which I'm not going to go into because that's another story for another YouTuber to tell. Um, so I was in the bar sort of supping away and this one game that I'd seen early doors anyway there was eating away at me a little bit. Um, I've tried to order it off CX three times. Um, them that know this may give it away. It's always come through as, as the uh, as the cart version. It's been put in incorrectly. This is probably the rare. It is the rarest card version. Um, and I think probably overall, in terms of like the power library, it's probably one of the rarer games to get hold of as well. Um, in this variant. Now normally I don't bother with variants. Wouldn't that interested? Um, but as you start picking one, two up, yeah, you know, I've got them all except for this one. So it was just like fucking hell. I've got I had the money, you know, I didn't have it, but it's in the, it was you know, available from a, a cash machine to get it if I wanted to. So I was, you know, chatting to the lads, this, that, and the other. It's, it's always in the back of my mind. And I thought, then we're going to speak to them, see what they say. Because uh, I didn't really want to go back out to get some more money. I thought, well, see if they do PayPal. If they do PayPal, I'll be sold, you know. I'll give it because it'll be easy. <laughs> So I went to the store, did some haggling, and I got like 20 quid off, which is a lot of money, because the price he had it for was a pretty good price anyway. Um, was it 20 quid or was it 15 quid? I can't remember. Um, and it was sort of said about PayPal, but it's just, the phone signal was shit, so I said, okay, look, I'll go, I'll go to the cash machine. So I went to go out to the cash machine, the one I went to before, that was, it was broken. So I came back, I went, I got halfway into walking into Lee's, I sent well further down the road. I thought, fuck this, I can't be bothered to do it. I don't even know where a cash machine is. So as I was coming back in, I bumped into Mike, Mike Ormond. Um, and he sort of said, Oh, um, where have you just been? I said, I'll try to get some machine, but the fucking machine's broke. The one near the Tesco's. He goes, Oh, you tried one of the Sainsbury's. I said, I didn't know there was one near the Sainsbury's. And what it is, I just, I just come out in the, the, um, the Marriott Hotel through the gap. It's across the road, but it's behind like a bus stop. So I didn't see it there at all. He went, I don't see that white sign it is. He goes, It's below that. A fucking ass, even closer than the one I went to before. Uh, so I managed to get the money out, went back in and I bought it. Um, and it's from, again, it's like a, obviously there are, there are you know, sort of resellers if you like. Uh, Micro Sprouts, Game Crazed. There you go. Never heard of, I've never seen them there before. He had some, a, a lot of 8 um, bit micro stuff and whatnot, so it's quite interesting to look at all that. Uh, so he had some like 16 bit, 32 bit, etc. And he had all these. I don't, know if, I don't know if it was a full set or not, but he had most of these games, or this type, if you like. Um, so this basically is, is me done with the Master System now. There are, other than, if you really want to argue, um, 
Sapo, Sapo Exuled, which is like um, an Astro Astro Warrior sort of reskin, Portuguese only. I'm not really sure if I'd count that. Uh, but this is the variant. It's in great condition for the price. I think 160 on eBay one had sold for. So I've got this for 105. A lot of money, yes. Um, but I tell you what, in the condition, and like I say, for that price, I was like, fuck it, I've got to buy it. So I don't think Jay knows I've got this because me and Jay were talking about it. But it's, hang on, the Sega card. And it is a fucking hard game to find. You're not going to, I'd be amazed if you find this out in the wild. Because basically, obviously, the story behind this is the card version was released with all the massive, it was a packing. So you'll see a lot of them would just have um, the manual and the game and the card. Obviously then, when they brought out the other packs, they released this on a cart, which is what a lot of people got. I've got that. I don't, I don't recall, I don't know when, 1986, I don't know if that's when this, the, the, the card version of this was released. But not a lot of people would have bought it because they probably would have had it as the packing one, you see. So there's, there's very few of them about. Um, so... Yeah, some nice additions there. Some things, just like I say, just rounding off collections. A few more being added to it. Um, great times, great laughs with a lot of people. A few like little mini shouts if you like. Old school variety face. Go and check him out. I was telling the lads there because um, he doesn't show his face, um, but he's such a fucking absolute lunatic. A, a great watch if you just want to, you know, watch some absolutely insane benign nutty videos about about retro gaming and everything counts in between um reggae and cooking and all kinds of stuff go and check it out great yeah. Yeah. Ben Mongus on this movie Mongoose on a unicycle. Fucking hell, get that in a minute. Go and check him out. He's a good one. And it's time for another episode of Why I Love. And it seems like ages since I've done one of these. So let's crack right on with Why I Love Oddworld Abe's Odyssey on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> Who's now called Man Cave. Nice to see him. I've sort of briefly seen him in Doncaster. Hi guys, welcome back to the Man Cave. So this is a pickups video from yesterday's video at the Retro Gaming Fair in Leeds. So if you've not watched that video, it's the video previous to this. It's footage and a tour of the actual Retro Games Fair. It's pretty cool. I had to edit it down so it's just not as long. Uh, but it's a pretty cool video if you want to check that video out. Good to see him. Obviously Lewis, go and check Lewis out Wish Wash. Um, Just trying to think who else. I, I sort of thought, oh, you know, they deserve a little bit of a bit of a nod. There's all your usual faces. You'll see um, a picture anyway. Didn't really get a chance to talk too much to uh, Big Daddy. So I didn't know Big Daddy C was going, Paul. Uh, you know, uh, and all that contingent again. I'm not going to run through everyone's name. Um, I say you'll see pictures and. Them that there were there. Uh, Craig's here again. Nice to see Craig. Craig's not made a video for uh, absolutely years and now. Anyway, um, but other than that, I'm not going to say I'm not going to go too much into the who's, the why's, the wherefores. It was a great time. I say from an event perspective, and you know some of the deals to be had. There's definitely always deals to be had. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It, you know, in terms of the queuing. They say you'll probably get get a bit of heat off that. I don't suppose, um, but he can't be out, you know, he's not selling tickets. You, know, you can't just sort of say, look, there's a thousand people going to turn up. He didn't know. I'm guessing he just bases it on what it was last year, uh, uh, you know, and numbers and figures, because I think he said last year, by 12, half 12 or something like that, or 12 o'clock, they'd got everybody in that was that was queuing up, whereas yesterday, it was like half one, I think people were still queuing to get in, so, and, you know, because of the fire eggs, you have to let it, it's like one in, one out. <coughs> just how it is unfortunately <laughs> I didn't add I didn't add to the problem so I've done my stuff and I've stayed in the bar so a lot I'll do my bit for you guys um, but I hope if you know if you went uh, let me know if you've done a video what you got if you didn't do a video leave it down in the comments below 
you know, there's a lot of stuff to, to, to buy, a lot of variation, which I quite like. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think he just needs to, he needs to expand a little bit. He needs a bigger place. Uh, it definitely does. I think that he, I spoke to Steve and he sort of said, you know, options are limited within Leeds because uh, you don't want to go too far out of the way because then parking and access for people becomes an issue, which I get. So, you know, I'm sure he'll figure it out. He's a smart man. But, yeah, many thanks again, Steve, for a great event. Uh, many thanks to all the people that I spoke to, had a laugh with, had a, you know, bent their ears, had a, had a beer with and stuff like that. Uh, awesome times. So, until next time. Take it easy, YouTube, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Yes. Original ones are stupid. Did he buy it? Drive equivalent to that, and I put it on my pile. I'll read that before I take it to the train. I ended up just reading it and not bringing it. <laughs> That's the thing when you're clearing out. Don't yeah. stop to read everything because you'll just keep it. You will. Ooh, sorry, all right. <laughs> Yeah. 
So you just found the guy right on the other It's getting warm.